the mission of our time is voter and economic empowerment of Americans under 30. And essentially what we're doing is aggregating young people into a collective group to stand up for their rights and opportunities as they age and have needs uh, much akin to how other advocacy groups unite different uh, constituencies for their collective self-interest. The special thing for me about Kenyon was that you just got to do all the things you loved or wanted to try. So if you wanted to try to play rugby, you got to go play rugby. If you wanted to be in a play, you got to be in a play. If you wanted to start a band, you got to start a band. And that was a real lesson for me because I got to do those things here and pursue things that I really enjoyed or wanted to try. And then once you get out into the real world where you're supposed to be very scary and you're not supposed to be able to do that anymore, I realized I still could. And many other people are thinking they've got to take some you know, take some job they don't like or take some path they don't want to go down. But the truth is that you can actually pursue things you're passionate about. I would say in terms of advice for uh, Kenyan students, it's think creatively and outside the box, which is a no-brainer for everyone at this school because this school teaches you to be an individual. It teaches you to ask big questions and to be inquisitive. And if you go through uh, life being inquisitive, you're going to invent new ways to uh, solve problems, you're going to come up with more innovative ways to uh, redefine what was used to be normal. Uh, everyone has been talking about the expression, the new normal, but uh, it's up to our generation to constantly be in a state of reinvention. And I think Kenyon teaches uh, an innovative way of thinking simply because uh, they're focused on asking questions and dissecting arguments rather than necessarily teaching rote memory or standardized ways of thinking that larger institutions often do.